Welcome to Flex and Stretch Virtual. A little different than typically being in a classroom setting, but you know, there'll be times where I'm in Iceland or on vacation somewhere, so today it's just Scott and I, so he'll have to deal with all my jokes or attempt at jokes, so the goal is to get him to laugh today. We're just going to start out with some simple stretches today. So, staying in a chair, we're going to bring our right heel on the ground, leaning forward. Feel free to add that reach towards the toes if you want to. You don't have to add that reach, you can just lean forward like this. Just going to hold it here. We're going to be here for about two days, then we're going to switch legs. All right, fast two days, let's come on up. Switch here, left heel on the ground, leaning forward, add that reach if you want. Holding it here. Coming up out of this. Next one, we're gonna work the hips a little bit, still stretching here. So we're gonna bring our right foot, putting it on the left knee. If you can't or don't want to, you can bring that right foot onto the left shin. But bringing that right foot up, giving that right leg a hug here. We're gonna come down, push on the leg here, opening up that hip. You don't have to push on the knee, you could push on the leg here, just a little bit. Coming out of this, switching legs, left foot on the right knee, and again, if you want to modify it, bringing it on the shin and giving it a nice hug here. Pushing down again here, opening up that hip. Definitely need this stretch today. This is like my fifth workout today, so and this feels really nice. Coming out of this, some more just simple stretches here. So sitting nice and tall, heels stay on the ground. We're just gonna lift the toes off and back. Off the ground, back on. Again, if you've done class with me before, it's just like you're waiting at a restaurant for your food, just, just chilling, relaxing. Toes stay on the ground, lift the heels off. Up and down. Coming out of this here, we're gonna stretch the neck and shoulders a little bit, so we're gonna take our right hand Underneath the right side of your chair, we're going to dip left ear to left shoulder, hold it here. Hopefully your shoulder's not saying anything to your ear. Just nice and relaxing. Switching sides, left hand underneath the left side of the chair, right ear to right shoulder, hold it here. Coming out of this, my next one here, one of my favorites. So we're gonna bring our feet wide, leaning forward, right arm going in, let that shoulder hang, make some circles with it. Big or small, fast or slow, just like you're stirring a pot of soup, or perhaps a chili or a bisque. Contemplate what the difference between all three of those are. Switch directions. I got one chuckle out of Scott so far. More than most of my classes already, so. So far, so good. Switching arms here, left arm, circles. And this one, you can do standing also, just leaning on a counter or something. Switching directions with this arm. Again, you can go faster or slower. Totally up to you here. 
coming out of this here still stretching those shoulders out bringing the right arm across pulling on that shoulder hold it here Switching arms, left arm across, pull on the shoulder. Typically I would say contemplate what you're having for lunch, but contemplate what you're having for dinner today. Nice and relaxing here. Shake it out. Elbows are gonna be at our side for this one, hands together. For this, we're gonna bring the hands out, palms up, thumbs behind, squeeze the shoulders back. Opening up that chest here. And all these exercises today are just really good stretches that you can do every day if you'd like to. Hands together. We're going to do that one more time here. So palms up, thumbs behind, squeeze the shoulders back, and just look up slightly. Relax here. Okay, now hands are going to stay together. We're gonna bring the hands out. Right hand is gonna to twist to the right. We're gonna to twist total to the right, looking over the right shoulder. Typically, I would say don't slap the person next to you. If there is a person next to you, don't slap them still. Back to center. Left arm twisting to the left, looking over the left shoulder. And again, just to your comfort. Back to center. One more time to the right. Hold it here. Back to center. One more time to the left. Back to center here. We're going to still do some stretches here. So this next one we're going to be doing, we're going to bring that right heel on the ground again. We're just going to do some ankle pumps here. So right toes touch the ground and off. On the gas, off the gas, pretending you're in the car. Just on the brakes, off the brakes. Maybe you decide to go on South Business Drive at 4 o'clock and just that crazy Sheboygan traffic. Switching feet here, left heel on the ground. And again, toes on and off. Really good stretches to do after a walk. Or if you just did some gardening. And three, two, relax here. Feet are gonna stay planted for this one. We're just gonna do some shoulder rolls forward. It's going forward. And again, you could do big shoulder rolls or small. And we'll reverse it here. I forgot about the motion sensor lights in here. Scott's dancing right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Did not think of the motion sensor lights. Scott was taking a nap during that part. Shake it out here. <laughs> All right, this next part you can do with or without weights, totally up to you. So I got weights here, got the mighty purple twos, whatever you want. Don't throw the weights though. But again, if you don't want to use weights, you don't have to. If you have cans of corn, by chance or water bottles that works too starting out here we're gonna just warm up the arm still so keeping the arm straight alternating right and left arm to shoulder height just going here again you could go fast or slow this all this movement now the lights definitely won't go out bring those arms out to the side now alternating right and left During any of the workout too, if you get tired or you might have an injury to that shoulder, feel free to just skip the exercise. We're gonna do alternating curls now, keeping the elbows at our side, curling forward. We're 
going to go back to the flies going forward, but now both arms at the same time. And at any point, if you want to do this for a longer period of time, you could do this for 30 seconds, two hours. We'll go to the side here. And again, if there's a person next to you, don't slap them, don't hit them. Be nice to each other. Curling forward one more time, both arms. Elbows at the side, up and down. And three, two, and one. Next one here, weights together or hands together if you're not using weights. From here, we're just gonna do a march with a twist. So bringing the right leg up, twisting to the right, left leg up, twist to the left. Just like this one, you could go faster, you go slower. You could say, I'm not twisting today, and you could just march. Totally up to you, however you want it to be. Just twist in here. Warming those legs up. Three, two, relax here. Hands shoulder height, hands by your shoulders, reaching up right and left. Alternating shoulder press here as we go. Before filming, Scott said he can do 50 pounds each hand. Pretty impressive. One day I'll get there. Both arms at the same time. He didn't want to show off for the camera though. And we only have 35s for him. Up and down. Three. Two. Relax here. We're going to go back to some curls, but now out curls. So, elbows at our side, palms are going to face the ceiling, curling it out and out. If this hurts your elbows or wrists, you can flip it to a thumbs up grip. Just out to the side like so. Keep those curls going. After this, we're going to drop the weights and do some more leg exercises. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bring those weights down. So we're going to put the weights down to our side here, not using them next. Working the hips and legs a little bit. So, sitting nice and tall, right foot to start. We're going to alternate the legs, right foot to the right side, left foot to the left side. Just tapping here. Again, you can go fast or slow for any of these exercises. We're going to march it out next here. So marching it up, again, right and left, alternating here. We're going to make this one a little bit harder. So keeping the left leg up, march with the right. Keeping the right leg up, march with the left. And again, take breaks if you need to, want to. Back to those side taps now. So tapping it right and left, right and left. Keep it going. One more time with those marches. Up and down. Right leg up, march with the left. Or your other left. As long as the foot's up. Switching sides here. Keep it going. After this one, we'll stretch it out a little bit. Three, two, relax. 
getting a sweat already. All right, stretching it out here. Right foot's gonna be planted on the ground, so heel and toes, leaning forward again. Feel free to add that reach if you want to. If not, you can just lean forward, but feel free to reach. Holding it here. Coming out of this, switching left foot. Left foot is planted on the ground. Again, leaning forward. Add that reach if you'd like to. Totally up to you. Coming out of this here, stacking the hands on top of each other. Reaching forward and back. Feet are planted, forward and back. If you've done the classes before, you know, pretend you're sitting in a chair, your dog comes up to you with a toy, you reach for the toy, then it grabs it before you did. Let's reach over to the right now. So slightly to the right, back to center. To the right, back to center. And just like a lot of these exercises, reaching to your comfort. Your comfort might be different than mine. Over to the left now. Left to center. Left to center. And three, two, Relax here, some more stretching. So stretching out the neck a little bit. We're gonna look down at our left armpit, making sure it's still there. A really good stretch for those cold Wisconsin days. We shrug and we're so tense, a really nice one for that. Right. Hold it here. Come out of this. Next one you can do with or without weights, totally up to you. I'll show without weights for it. So we're gonna go back to an alternating press. So hands by your shoulders. We're gonna do same hand, same leg. So if the right hand comes up, the right leg comes up. If the left hand goes up, left leg goes up. It's up and down. You can be fast or slow, totally up to you. Kind of a full body finish here. Keep it going. The lights definitely aren't turning off with this one, that's for sure. Up and down. We're going to be doing this one for 30 minutes straight. So, no, we're not doing that. Almost there, though. Three, two, and relax here. Some more stretching after that one. For this one, we're going to bring the right hand up. Reaching across. You can wave to me if you want to through the camera. If not, no offense. Coming up, other side here. Reach across, waving if you want to. Totally up to you. There we go. Jazz hands come out of this here. We're gonna do a little bit more of a stretching with the elbows, the forearms. So, hands together. Elbows under the shoulders, pushing the hands to one shoulder. Hold it here. You can hold it for 10 seconds, 11, other side, 12 seconds if you want to get crazy. Totally up to you. A 
over to the other shoulder one more time. Back again to the other one. And relax. Bring the right elbow to shoulder height. Act like you're holding on to a plate of food. Extend that arm down, fingers point down towards the ground, and back up. Just like you have a plate of food and you're dropping it. If you want to modify it, you can put your hand on the hip. You can be a little teapot. That one gets no laughs either. Switching sides here, other elbow shoulder height. Keeping that elbow up is the key on this one. You don't want to dip it down like so. Keeping that elbow nice and tall as we go. Doing good. Three, two, relax. Next, last one we're gonna do here, exercise. We're gonna take the right leg, keeping it bent, Bring it up and hold. Working the legs here, those quads. Making sure that we have that strength in those legs. We're gonna bring that leg a little bit higher. Doesn't look like much, can really feel it though. That's for sure. Let's bring it up a little bit higher. Bring that leg down, switching here, other leg up and hold. Again, doesn't look like much. You can really feel it. You could go do this for a minute if you want to. Bring it higher. Just holding it here. Higher one more time. And three, two, relax. All right, we're gonna scoot forward on our chairs here so that our arms can hang off of it. So we're gonna lean forward, crossing the arms, inhale them up. Again, don't slap the person next to you, exhale them down. Up again, down, up, down. We're gonna do a million more here, up. Down, okay, one more, up, down. And I always finish my workouts with hugs because Scott did such a good job today. Thank you for joining and we can't wait to see you in class.